What is going on fellow developers, my name is Tyler Potts and in today's video we're going to be creating a mobile hamburger menu that pulls out a sidebar um, with your navigation links inside of it. Now in the last video we created a uh, landing page or website with um, different sections on it um, as you can see here and then we also added in on desktop a menu but on mobile Obviously, that menu's now disappeared. We haven't got a hamburger menu. We don't even have um, a navigation menu. Now, obviously, it's kind of essential for a website to have a navigation menu so you can find yourself around. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take this code and we're going to add in a menu. Now, don't be worried. You can actually, I'm going to do this completely standalone. So, if you want to, if you don't want to do this video within a previous video, um, then this should be still straightforward for you. You'll still be just doing the hamburger menu. There'll be nothing special about it. But if you do want to check out that video, the link will be in the description. So without further ado, guys, let's get started. Okay, guys, so the first thing we'll do is inside of our container here, where we had our NAF, we're actually going to create a, a, a hamburger menu. So I'm going to create a button. And this button is going to have the class of hamburger or hamburger, uh, hamburger here. Um, and then inside of this, we're going to have a bar. And I'm just going to call this dot bar. And there you go. So that's just the start of our hamburger menu. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into our SAS file. Now, um, if you don't know what SAS is, you don't actually have to use this for this tutorial. Um, but if you do have SAS and you followed along the last tutorial, you'll know we set this up. So we're going to do this standalone. So we're not going to write the CSS inside of um, any tags. We're going to start from straight out here. So out here, we're just going to say dot hamburger. And we're going to display this as a block. Um, we're gonna give it a width of about 35 pixels though. Um, we're gonna give we're gonna give it a cursor of pointer. Hit save. So there you go. You got that there. Just this tiny little bar there. Um, let's actually start padding this out. We're gonna give this a height of uh, say 35 pixels as well for now. There you go. Just so we can see it. And we're gonna give obviously we need to set the appearance to none. We need to give the background to none. An outline to none and a border again to none but just for testing here right at the bottom I'm just gonna add background actually you know what? we won't even do a background we'll just go leave it like that so we've got a hamburger right now inside of our hamburger I'm going to add in our bar so I'm gonna do dot bar and we need to set this I'm gonna set this to position relative and inside our bar, well, actually, not just that, we're going to grab this. And I'm going to do bar hamburger and after dot hamburger before. So what these do, these are pseudo elements. And pseudo elements allow us to um, basically have extra elements that we can utilize inside of each, inside a tags before and after the content. So in, inside our hamburger, we're just going to, our bar, we give them a width of 100%. And give them a height of five pixels each, a background color of white, um, a margin of about zero pixels, or actually, you know what, six pixels, zero pixels, um, and a transition of 0 0.4 seconds. Hit save, and there you go, you've got one bar there. Um, we also need to give our things a content of nothing and a display of block. There you go. So as you can see, we now have a little hamburger menu here. A little hamburger already sat there. Um, also, I'm going to remove the height from this for now. I think it was, yeah, it still works without the height. That's fine. Um, but in this, so when we actually, so now once we click on a hamburger menu, we're going to do dot hamburger dot is active. And when it's active, we're going to get the bars. So I'm just going to do, um, dot bar I'm not gonna do all the bars I'm just gonna do dot bar or oh, maybe I should do bar after we'll see which one works best you know what? we'll do bar we'll do hamburger after um, hamburger after I'm just gonna say transform rotate minus 45 degrees um, and then translate 
Minus 9 pixels, 6 pixels. You have to tweak these pixels. So when it is... Oh. I actually needed to do that after there. Um, we need to actually set is active to a hamburger. So let's just say is active for now. Um, I think that's twisted the wrong way. Let's rotate it 45 degrees. Oh, actually saying that. No, we did do it the right way. Undo. This needs to be before. There you go. Now the right one is twisted. Now for the after. Let's copy this. Um, let's go down here. We're just going to say dot hamburger. Uh, dot is active. And then I'm just going to say after. Oh. Actually, we're going to get the bar this time. And we're just going to say um, opacity zero. So it disappears. And then we're going to copy this. And we're going to change this to after. Now it's going to tilt the wrong way. Um, but what we need to do is actually, I think we may need to come back a little here and also minus 8 on this. And then we need to change the rotation to be, instead of minus 45, 45 degrees. And there you go. Now that looks a bit funny. I think I need to change the what the y axis a little, maybe 6. Uh, no, let's go 7. This is what I mean by you have to mess around with it a lot to get it to sit properly. I still think it looks kind of weird. Let's go back to 8. Um, minus 8, minus 8, minus 6. No, minus 9, minus 6. What happens if we change this to 8? Oh, there you go. That looks a lot better. I actually do think this needs to come up, though. Um, minus 9? Or minus 6? No, minus 9. So hard to decide on what height. I think that looks good enough. You can tweak this a bit more. I think, if anything, this needs to come left and down a little. So, 7 and down a little. Oh, no, that needs to go 9. And then down a little, so 8. There you go. Now, that looks perfect. Sorry, it's all about tweaking these values. So, you can see, it as you tweak it, it changes. So, now, if we go back and we remove the is active state. Oh, and keep the quote in. You can see we've got a hamburger. But now we need to toggle this using a class. Oh, cancel. So in our JavaScript, so we've added in JavaScript here. Now we've used a script source at the bottom of our code here to actually implement it. But in JavaScript, we'll just say window on load. And then we're going to get um, value to this hamburger. So I'm just going to say const hamburger. Or I'm just going to say ha menu button. It's equal to document dot query selector. And I'm just going to search for dot hamburger I'm going to say menu button oh, menu underscore button dot uh, add event listener click we're just going to say function and the function we're going to call is um, we're going to say uh, menu but menu button dot um, class list dot add and then we're going to say is active and I'm actually not going to do add, I'm going to do toggle, because this means we'll toggle it on and off. So if we now refresh over here, and we click it, you can see we get that nice little closing effect of the hamburger menu. And there you go, that's as simple as that. Now, But now what we need to do is actually open up a menu. So let's scroll back up to the top, and just before our main here, we're going to have enough of navigation. But this one's going to have the class of mobile nav. And in here, we're just going to have a list of anchor tags. So we're going to have the home. We will have the surface. We can actually just copy these. I don't know why I'm not just copying them. It would have been a lot easier. There we go. So now we've got these surfaces in there. Obviously, these are just going to throw themselves in at the top there, which doesn't look too great. So let's actually grab this class, go back into our SAS here, and underneath the hamburger menu, I'm going to say menu. Oh, I'm going to say mobile nav. And we're going to display this as um, a flex. And fl actually, no, display as block. We'll display as block. Um, and we're going to give it a position of fixed. We're going to say top, zero, right, zero. Actually, left, zero. Width, 100%. And then height, 100 feet H. 
or min height. So there you go. So that should now be the full screen. Obviously, we can't actually see what's going on there. We need to give this a C index, and we're going to do this of 98. So there it is. And the reason it's 98 and not 99 is because we want it to be just below our menu here, because we want this to sit above the actual header. So we're also going to give this a background color of, yep, the dark blue we've been using. So it's the same as the scroll bar. And then where our anchor tag, well, where we've got anchor tags, we're going to do anchor tags. We also need to do a margin top. Oh, not margin bar, margin top of about, let's say, 120 pixels. Oh, sorry, padding top. <laughs> there you go. Just to bring the nav bars below the actual um, thing here. Um, and these are going to be display block. Uh, text align center. There you go. We're going to have margin bar of 16 pixels on each one. We're going to have padding of about 16 pixels on each one. Um, or oh, eight. We're going to say eight pixels, six or 12 pixels, 16. I think that'll work. Um, and then a background color. And the background color we're going to have is maybe just a slightly. We'll try the pink for now. Yeah, it looks terrible. Uh, let's go back to. Let's use this color. And let's change it up a little. So let's make this a F, oh, 1F, and then a 3F there. Save. Uh, not dark. That's too too light now. There you go. That's a little better. Um, also, I've actually decided I don't want them to be display block. I want to display. No, display block, but with a width of fit content. Sorry, I forgot to put a curl on there. There we go, and then we're just going to go up here, and oh, and we also need to say margin zero, auto. Uh, and we can say 16 and remove the margin bar. Save, there we go. Um, oh, now they can't look funny, I can't want, okay. <laughs> Delete this, we'll say width 100%, max width about 200 pixels. Oh, and margin zero, auto, 16 pixels, we do need that. Um, oh, with fit content, remove that. Now there we go. Okay, that looks better. Now we've got the burns there. Let's give it a color of white. Um, and a text decoration of none. And then we don't need a hover effect. Oh, sorry, I just realized I'm using SAS here. Um, to fix this, we could take this out. We could say dot mobile nav, and then pass that in. There you go. Now that's a non sass way. <laughs> uh, and then we, once we've got that, if we just add a simple hover effect to this uh, and just do the background color slightly lighter. So let's grab this, put that in there. Instead of doing F here, we'll do a 0 but 2. Actually, we'll do a 0 but 4. Um, and then a 4 but 4. And a wonder F. Ah, uh, they lose their kind of shine. They, they're losing their purple sheen. Let's keep that zero. There you go, that's better. So now you've got your little buttons here as well. Um, and obviously this is only going to open once it's active. So we need to say here on mobile nav, where we've got, oh, sorry, on mobile nav here, we're just going to say our left is going to be equal to 100% which means it's not going to actually be on screen. So we need to do a dot mobile nav dot is active and we need to do left zero. We also need to add a transition to this one up here, say 0 0.4 seconds. Um, and if we go back to our main in here, we need to get enough for constants. So we'll say const mobile menu is equal to document dot query selector dot mobile hyphen nav. Um, let's got, let's get this. Grab this, and we're literally going to do the exact same thing we've done here, but there. So now when we select this, you can see it now slides open. Okay, guys, so I actually think I've missed one last step. As you can see, we've still got the hamburger menu display, or the hamburger displaying on um, a desktop. Obviously, that's not what you want, so what we need to do, let's shrink that down. Let's go into our main here, and where we've got our hamburger... We're going to go at media. Well, we're going to grab a media screen and say max width. 
and let's go down to below all these I'm going to put a media screen in there and what we're going to do let's remove this I'm going to say mobile nav and we're also going to say dot hamburger and we're going to say opacity zero no we're actually going to just display none um, and then display uh, none as well. I think that's the wrong way around. Yep, so we actually need to say min width uh, 768. So once we get to our iPad size, there you go, it comes back and then it disappears. There you go. So now we have it disappearing as well. Okay, guys, so that is the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button if you want to see more. And also, if you have any questions or you got stuck anywhere along the way, do drop me a comment below and I'll try and get back to you as quick as I can. But for now, guys, thank you all for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.